I think unschooling gives my kids and um, other kids more freedom of choice to learn. It allows you to to look at learning in a whole a whole new way. For most children across the country, school is a big part of life. But not for Rio and Bryden. The siblings from Gorebridge, Scotland, don't learn maths, English or science in the traditional sense. Instead, Mum Mary Ann Jacobs is part of a new wave of parents called Radical One Schoolers, who say their children learn naturally. They learn from everything they touch, everything they listen to, everything, everything they do in daily life. It's hard to explain how natural learning works, but I trust that it works because I can see that it works. One, two, three, four. The unconventional lifestyle is legal. The children don't have to follow a national curriculum and their progress doesn't have to be monitored. Mary Ann says the family doesn't live to a routine and each day is different. A typical day in our life could go a bit like we get out, out, out of bed when we're ready. Not always all at once. Um, my wee boy sometimes likes to sleep a bit later. Rather than following a set curriculum, they learn problem solving through their favourite computer game, Minecraft. Numbers and calculations by baking and playing Pokemon. And words and vocabulary through Scrabble. Red. We'll play Lego or Bryden will do some magic tricks and Rio will do some magic tricks. It'll be very loud and noisy in here. Nine-year-old Rio and her eight-year-old brother Bryden are enjoying their alternative school life. I think it's really fun and it's cool and it's enjoyable. It's like a funner way of learning and I prefer it. Mary Ann, who left school without any qualifications, understands that the unorthodox methods will draw its critics. People don't agree because it's not the norm. Um, and it's out with their, their natural thinking. But she believes her unconventional technique is working. They can both read and write and they've learned to read and write very naturally and through the, th the things that they do and their interests. I don't think going to school and getting up and, and, and doing the routine that a lot of mainstream people do would work for us as a family at all. We wouldn't have time for school in our lives. We're so busy. The family may live outside the norm, but Mary Ann hopes the kids' independent upbringing will give them greater choices in later life. I hope that um, they'll, they'll follow their passions and their interests just like they do now and that will drive them to, to make success in their life in the way that suits them, not anyone else. Yeah, I got it! I touched it! Oh, it's under the wishing tree! Oh, it wants oh to make up with! Make a wish.